What is going on guys, it's Drakesy and just a quick one before today's video does start, be sure to subscribe to the channel because when we reach a thousand subscribers we're going to be doing a giveaway on the channel. The giveaway is going to be for a gift card, whether that be on Microsoft or Sony, the gift card will depend on the platform that you're on. So if you do want a chance to enter this competition, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. What is going on guys, it's Drakesy back again with another best possible squad builder on the channel. Today's squad builder is going to be a pretty good squad indeed, it's going to be a best possible chili squad builder. The formation I'm going to be using is the 4-2-3-1 formation, secondary formation that is, sorry. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a pretty solid squad, so without any further ado, let's get into the team. Starting off in between the sticks, it's going to be Claudio Bravo of Man City. As we can see, his card is a pretty solid one indeed this year. 82 rated, rare gold goalkeeper card for Man City. He's not getting that many games these days, seeing as though they have just bought Edison and he seems to be getting the first goalkeeper choice uh, over Bravo. So it's unlikely that he's going to get any informs this year. And uh, yeah, this might be the highest card we see for him, but still it's a solid card. One star skill moves, three star weak foot, 80 diving, 81 reflexes, 80 handling and 87 kicking, plus 77 positioning, which makes him a pretty solid card for a goalkeeper overall. Moving up to the right back now, we have Isla in the team. As we can see, Isla is a 76 rated right back for Fenerbahce. He seems like a pretty solid card as a uh, as a right back, that is. Uh, three star skill moves, three star weak foot, 77 pace, 76 dribbling, 71 defending, 75 passing and then 73 physical on his card. Makes him, once again, like I said, a solid card as a gold card. Now we move across to the first centre-back into the team. That's going to be the 74-rated rare silver centre-back, Mar Mar Maripan, is it? Maripan, I think so you would pronounce his name. He plays for Deportivo Alaves, I believe, in Spanish League 1 or potentially the second league. He has two-star skill moves, two-star weak foot, uh, 54 pace, which is kind of weak, but he does have 73 defending and 78 physical on his card, making him a pretty decent silver centre-back but that pace is a problem. Moving now to the second centre-back in the team, we have a guy named Rocco, as we can see. Once again, a 75-rated non-rare gold card, uh, two-star skill moves, three-star weak foot, 49 pace, so a lot slower than his counterpart at the centre-back position. But this guy does have 75 defending and 77 physical, but still a very, very weak card alongside another weak card. So yeah, the centre-back's kind of weak in this team. Now to wrap up the defence, we have the last defender in the team. This is going to be Albornoz, I think so you would say his name, Albornoz. Uh, the 71 rated rare silver left back that is, playing for Hanover I believe is that. Is that Hanover's crest? I'm not too sure if they're in the first league or second league in Germany. But this guy's card is pretty solid as a left back and a silver. Three star skill moves, three star weak foot, 71 pace, 73 dribbling, 72 passing and then 72 physical on his card. So yeah, pretty solid. His defending's not too bad at 65 as well, but like I said, solid 71 rated silver in the team. Now we move up to the right midfielder in the team. This guy's called Pudge. Putch, I think so you would say his name. I believe he had a team of the year card, team of the season, sorry, uh, last year. And he was pretty quick on that. I think it was a left winger as well. But no, in FIFA, he's a non-rare gold, 76 rated right midfielder. I believe playing in the either, is it Argentinian or Chilean, Chilean league, is it? I'm not too sure. One of the two. Um, but yeah, he has four star skill moves, three star weak foot, 83 pace, 76 dribbling, 72 shooting. 68 passing and 62 physical so yeah pretty solid card at right mid as well but the physical could be a little bit better if anything moving across now to the first center defensive mid in the team and that's going to be gary medell as we can see gary medell is 82 rated he's a rare gold this year playing at center defensive mid for this team he plays for besiktas meaning that he does get a strong link to the right back isla as well but Midel on his card, he has two star skill moves, four star weak foot, 74 pace, 71 dribbling, 81 defending and physical on his card. I believe he's either about five foot eight, five foot ten, so he's kind of a smaller player, but still very solid with the stats on his card. 
Now we move up to the centre attacking mid position and we come to Aranguis, Aranguis, I think is how you would say his name. He does actually come out of packs as a centre mid, so you will have to convert him to a centre attacking mid if you do want to build this team. But he is an 81 rated in form centre attacking mid as I said, playing for Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga. He does have 3 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, 79 pace, 83 dribbling, 71 shooting, uh, 65 dr uh, defending, se oh my goodness, 87 pa uh, passing on his card and then 75 physical. So yeah, main stats being dribbling and passing but kind of an all rounder at centre attacking mid for this team. The next player into the team is going to be Arturo Vidal. Now Arturo Vidal does come out of packs as a centre defensive mid. He works well in this team as well because he does get a link to the left back and centre attacking mid around him. So he does get some decent links in there. Uh, but yeah, looking at Arturo Vidal's card, he's an 87 rated rare gold playing for Bayern Munich. 3 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, 75 pace, 79 dribbling, 81 shooting, 80 passing and then 83 defending and 84 physical. So yeah, pretty much 80s across the board with some decent 70s on pace and dribbling. But yeah, a very solid card if not one of the best in the team. But the guy debating whether he is the best player in the team is going to be this guy, Alexis Sanchez at left midfield for this team. This is his first in form, he could potentially later on in FIFA get more in forms because he is just a fantastic player. Um, but yeah, Sanchez's card, this one does actually come out as a left forward, but for the sake of the team, convert it back to a left mid if you do want to build this team. But yeah, he's 90 rated on this card, uh, it's an in form, playing for Arsenal, 4 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot. 87 pace, 90 dribbling, 87 shooting, 83 passing and then 79 physical on a winger is absolutely incredible. This guy's card is mad and honestly, I bet it's just one of the best if not the best in the team to play with. And to wrap up the team, we come to the final player and that is going to be Castillo the striker, the 76 rated non-rare gold striker playing for the team, I think is it UNAM? I think that's the initials, it's like an abbreviation of the name of the football team. But yeah, they're known for having the Pumas on the kit. I believe they are a Chilean team and as we can see he gets a strong link to Puch, meaning that Puch is also in the Chilean league. He has 3 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, 66 pace which isn't the best on a striker. But he's more of a, um, a force up top because he does have 71 dribbling, 77 shooting and then 79 on physical. So this guy so far is the best possible Chilean squad in FIFA 18. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I hope you have for more content, yeah, in the near future. Like I said, subscribe. But thank you very much for watching. I've been Drakesy and I'll see you in a bit, guys.